Hey guys, LGZ0724. And I just finished reading Christine by Stephen King. No, a lot of people are going to disagree with me, but I really love this book. Um, and basically what it is, it's a paranormal sort of possession story revolving around a car. And it all starts out with two guys. Dennis Gilder, who is pretty much like the most popular kid in his school. Um, you know, he plays basically every sport you'd think of. And then there's Arnie Cunningham, who is pretty much the biggest dork in the school. He's a horrible case of acne, he's in the chess club, he is pretty much hated by everyone in the school besides Dennis. And maybe the guys in the wood, like, workshop. So anyway, um, one day they're just driving and Arnie happens to notice a car for sale on the side of the road. So they go check it out and there's a guy named, Le with the last name of LeBay. He's selling the car. They buy it from him and everything goes downhill from there. He becomes, re Arnie becomes really caught up into fixing up this old rust bucket of a car and making it something very nice and very new looking. And he gets really caught up. He spends a lot of money. And that's all I can really say without spoiling it. Let me just say it gets really, really bad. Really way more serious than you can imagine. And there's, as you can guess, the car is, does have some supernatural force in it from LeBay. Because LeBay... Um, in the book, something happens, and just this spirit is in the car, and it's influencing Arnie. By the end of the book, he's pretty much hated by everyone. And it's just a very interesting story to see both Christine changing and Arnie changing alongside it. I mean, it's just very interesting, because you see Christine being built up into this really nice car by Arnie. And then you see Arnie changing from a quiet, soft-spoken, nerdy guy to someone who's actually really cool. He ends up getting a girlfriend, he makes the car, he finishes working on it, and it's, it's just... I can't really say why I really enjoyed this book, other than, for some reason, this book, just the overall atmosphere of the story, if you know what I'm saying, that just for some reason connected with me. It may also be the fact that um, I do sometimes wish I could live in the 70s because I just love the lifestyle of that period. That may have something to do with it because yeah, this book takes place in the 70s. You have a lot of the um, everyday goings-on of the 70s in the book, so that's pretty interesting. And other than that, I don't really know why I like this book so much. It is really suspenseful, for one. And you are very interested in seeing what will happen next. I do have to say, towards the end, it does slow down a lot. I was struggling to get through the final, maybe, 30 pages, but I did, and I'm happy I did, because the very end, I'm talking the very end, maybe the last five pages is worth it. So, yeah, if you decide to read this, Christine by Stephen King. Beginning is really interesting. I know towards the end, kind of boring, just stick with it, please. You'll be happy you did. And it's really not that long of a book either. It's also not that short. Of, it's sort of in between. It's 503 pages. I got through this in about two weeks, because I didn't really have that much time to read or anything. And the font, it's your average Stephen King size font, which kind of a small side. It's kind of the medium, I guess you'd say. And I just, this car, the car in this book, some scenes involving the car and one of the major characters, there's one, there's actually two scenes in particular I can think of that are really, really creepy. The one part, let me just say, involves 
a member of Buddy Rupperton's gang, who is the school bully, a member of Buddy's gang, and Christine, out at night. Let me just say, that's the one creepy moment. And then, that, I guess that could also tie into the moment where it includes actual Buddy and the car at a state park. If you've read it, you know what I'm talking about. And also, the second point that I thought was really kind of creepy was the part with Leigh Cabot, who is Arnie Cunningham's girlfriend. Her, um, her in the car... I don't know, really know what else to say, um, hamburger, I guess, yeah, if you've read it, you know what I'm talking about. Those two moments, pretty much, the Stephen King I've read so far, I can tell you that ranks high up there on the creepiness scale that I've got from that, from this author. I mean, I haven't read that many Stephen King books, maybe... 15, but that ranks among the creepiest I've read. And I haven't even read It yet, I haven't read Bag of Bones, I haven't read Stan, so that's really not saying that much, but this book can be creepy. And you may think, wait a second, Possessed Car, how is that scary? It's not just the car that's possessed, the spirit is actually going on to Arnie Cunningham himself, so it's really both on car possession and human possession, it's, it's just awesome. Uh, and yeah, in the movie, the movie Christine was good, but the haunted car just kind of looked a little ridiculous. The book, the way you're imagining it in the book, just makes it look, sound, and look so badass. I'm not even lying. This is an awesome book. And it, Generally, it's an underrated Stephen King book, in my opinion. I would say check this out if you can. Um, you either love it or you hate it. It's a hair miss, one of those kind of horror books. I personally loved it. I know many people out there who would beg to differ. They hated it. But I say try it out and at least give it a shot. I mean, really. What have you got to lose? So I would say check this out. It has some very, very key scary moments, and even though it does seem slow at some points, stick with it. You'll be happy you did. I would have to give Christine by Stephen King a 4 out of 5. Yeah, not 5 out of 5. I'd... It's 4 out of 5 just for the slow moments, and just some other points I wasn't really a fan of. Let me just say this, the climax action scene goes pretty slow. It's one thing I didn't like. I wish that was more of a hurried, rushed, quick climax, but it drags out. But anyway, four out of five, check this out. And since I'm now done with Christine, I plan to go on to No Country for Old Men by Cormac McCarthy. And then I actually plan to go on to it. I'm very sorry. Um, I know I said in my past video that I was going to swap out it for the stand, well, I've heard from many people, both online and in my f group of friends, that the stand goes really well with the Dark Tower series, so I finally decided I'm just going to wait and read the stand at the same time I read the Dark Tower series, which will be towards the summer. So instead, yeah, No Country for Old Men by Cormac McCarthy, coming up next, and then it. So yeah, thank you very much. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace and thank you.